Dear listeners, welcome to the Deep Journal channel. By subscribing to our channel, you can be informed about detailed reports every time. A week-long recession in the South China Sea is reigniting. China now seems to have prepared the stage for war. As the tension in the region increased day by day, the details of the plan that China was secretly advancing began to emerge gradually. With the military shipments made by the USA to the region, the process has accelerated and China is trying to act quickly. With the support of the USA to Taiwan in the crisis in the region, China's plan was actually interrupted. When the US supported Taiwan with its military equipment, China broke out a big rebellion in the region. As you may recall, after the first military agreement, Chinese President Xi threatened the United States and said that he should withdraw his hand from Taiwan. Later, with the Great Naval Exercise and the AUKUS agreement made by the USA and its allies in the region, it took a great measure against China. China, on the other hand, increased its military presence in the South China Sea in the face of these measures. Today, however, in the details that have emerged, he has now put his secret war plan into action. It turns out that China has sent notes telling its citizens to stock up. It is reported that in the messages sent to Chinese parents, who warned the public about making war preparations, the sensitivity of the issue was emphasized and warnings were given to take it into account. If the US and Australia try to stop China's reunification with the self-governing island of Taiwan, it could face an Armageddon war plan, a Chinese expert has argued. We will share the report with you shortly, which signals that there will be a war scenario ten times worse than the worst nightmares. A different report published at the same time explained how China plans to block the US military's base signals. With this blocking, China will open the way for the US not to respond to China's attacks. In addition to all this, China is strengthening its army on the Indian border by making an attack on India again to distract the US. But beyond all of these developments, the first move will be Taiwan. China's military actions against its US allies could be a diversion for the invasion of Taiwan and this knot will be untied with Taiwan. Because Taiwan is the first stone of the domino for China and once that stone falls, the rest will be very easy for China. Let's examine China's war plans together. The US and Australia could face Armageddon, should they attempt to stop China's reunification with the self-ruled island of Taiwan, a Chinese international relations expert claimed in a chilling warning. China's military is now at or near the capability to invade Taiwan, a congressional report said. The report, released this week, confirmed the People's Liberation Army PLA, has already achieved the capabilities needed to conduct an air and naval blockade, cyber attacks, and missile strikes against Taiwan. The U.S.-China Economic and Security Review Commission is an agency appointed by Congress, ordered to provide national security and economic advice to the U.S. government. Their report found the PLA's current sea and air capacity could launch an initial landing force of some 25,000 troops. Rather alarmingly, the report said, given these developments, it has become less certain that U.S. conventional military forces alone will continue to deter China's leaders from initiating an attack on Taiwan. The Chinese government operates a one-China policy, asserting that there is only one sovereign state under the name China, and Taiwan is part of China. In other words, they see Taiwan as a breakaway province that will eventually come back under their control. U.S. President Joe Biden has promised to defend Taiwan if China attacked. Chinese President Xi Jinping warned Mr. Biden this week that encouraging Taiwanese independence would be playing with fire. Chinese state-run Global Times said, such moves are extremely dangerous, just like playing with fire. Whoever plays with fire will get burnt. Australia, too, has vowed to support the US in defending Taiwan from Chinese attacks. He issued a chilling warning to Australia, in an interview with 60 Minutes Australia, in which he was described as an unofficial mouthpiece for the regime in Beijing. Mr. Gao said, those who want to block China's unification with China's Taiwan will be doomed to failure. Listen. If Australia goes to fight together with the US soldiers in China's drive for reunification between China's mainland and China's Taiwan, then you are talking about the worst thing you can dream of. A war between China and the United States will soon escalate out of control, and that will be Armageddon, Armageddon and Armageddon. This is what I hope the Australian people will come to realize. You need to deal with China with respect, as much as you give to the United States. Troops at a Chinese training base are schooled in combat in Amok Taipei, the Taiwanese capital. 
satellite footage shows one building bears a striking resemblance to Taiwan's presidential headquarters. Mr. Gao continued. Let China's mainland unite with Taiwan, and that will make the Chinese, the Americans, the Australians and mankind as a whole happier and safer. Urging the US and Australia not to intervene, he claimed the consequences of intervention could be catastrophic. He said, use all your imagination. Think about all the nightmares you can think of, and what will happen will be ten times more than your worst nightmare. Australian politician and former Major General in the Australian Army echoed these fears, telling 60 Minutes Australia. Fundamentally, given the power that they have now in their military, they could act any time from now on. That's what frightens me more than anything. Asked by the show's host if Australia should prepare for war, tomorrow, Mr Mullins said, absolutely. However, Mr Gao stressed China does not want an all-out war. He said, please don't fight. Meanwhile, China sends memos to citizens telling them to stockpile for war. China has reportedly sent memos to citizens warning them to stockpile goods and prepare for war, according to a podcaster who stated her parents received such messages. China's army has been looking into ways to jam communications in American bases according to Cindy Yu, a podcast host, as the tension between China and the U.S. escalates over Taiwan. With China's President Xi Jinping recently warning U.S. President Joe Biden not to play with fire over the breakaway island, the risk of conflict has become a threat. Ms. Yu said that should China invade Taiwan, they would need to prevent the U.S. from reacting in real time. The expert said in a podcast to David Runciman that blocking communication signals in U.S. bases would create havoc for U.S. forces, there are more military things they can do. For example, China's People's Liberation Army has been looking into how to jam communications off the American bases in the area. If and when an attack happens, the Americans can't respond from the local bases fast enough. The claim came after the discussion suggested what kind of deterrence the US and the West could place on China should a conflict erupt over Taiwan. Some have made suggestions that economic sanctions on China would be the most painful to Beijing. President Xi has vowed to implement the One China policy over Taiwan, and has stated that force will be used if necessary. Having received the warning by President Xi over Taiwan not to get involved, following the meeting between the two leaders, Mr. Biden doubled down on his stance over the island. Mr. Biden on Tuesday insisted his administration supported the right of Taiwan to make its own decisions. He said, We made very clear we support the Taiwan Act and that's it. However, the US position is more complicated. It does not recognize the island's independence and instead, diplomats pursue a policy of strategic ambiguity, supporting Taiwan's ability to defend itself without explicitly promising to come to its aid in the event of a Chinese attack. As both the US and China ramp up military capability in the area, the notion of blocking signals adds yet another layer of tension to an already heated affair. Add to this the ever-increasing presence of Western powers in the region, as global focus shifts east, the potential for a more global impact becomes more of a reality. With both China and the US enjoying permanent seats on the United Nations Security Council, a stalemate position will incur over any notion of international intervention. Regional state actors will be sucked into the conflict, with nuclear powers such as North Korea and Russia on the fringes of a regional war. In addition, the People's Republic of China justifies the potential use of force against Taiwan because it views the island nation as part of its territory, its return at historic mission, that has been glorified by successive Chinese Communist Party CCP, leaders. After Texas Senator John Cornyn warned Congress this week that a hostile takeover of the Democratic Island, and its 23.5 million people, would be the first step in the China's quest for world supremacy, Experts discussed wider implications for the United States in a post-war Asian regional order that has held for more than seven decades. There are two lines of inquiry that follow the question of, what comes next? After a successful Chinese military operation to occupy Taiwan. Both center on expanded interpretations of the American geopolitical, domino theory, which once referred to the fears of communism spreading throughout Asia during the Cold War and today might apply to an expansion of the China's territorial boundaries as well as sphere of influence in the region and beyond. If China is able to capture Taiwan, there's no reason to believe that the Chinese Communist Party would stop there. China also has territorial claims against the Philippines, Japan, Vietnam and India, Cornyn said on the Senate floor on Tuesday while endorsing stronger deterrence in the Taiwan Strait. He added, 
We shouldn't view Taiwan as the CCP's ultimate goal but as the first domino in a quest to reach regional and global dominance. If Taiwan falls, it will not be the end, but rather a beginning. Of the many options available to China, a missile barrage, seizing outlying islands, a naval blockade or even a surprise decapitation attack against the Taiwanese leadership, a full-scale amphibious assault remains by far the riskiest. The naval forces of the People's Liberation Army PLA, assigned to the East and South China Seas currently have few obvious routes into the Western Pacific, where Chinese nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines might threaten Guam, Hawaii and then eventually the continental US. The Bashi Channel, between Taiwan and the Philippines, and the Miyako Strait, between the Japanese islands of Miyako and Okinawa, are the most direct international waterways China's navy might use to thread the first island chain. It is around these critical choke points that analysts believe American-led military intervention or China's anti-access, area denial, a 2, AD, tactics could turn the tide in a conflict between the PLA and Taiwan's armed forces, which are not likely to survive a lengthy war of attrition that turns from weeks into months. The PRC might indeed try to grab some more territory, say from Japan, India, the Philippines, Indonesia or Malaysia, said Nusham, who was the first marine liaison officer to the Japan Self-Defense Forces. But China doesn't have to seize more territory in order to exert control and influence over its neighbors. A successful Chinese takeover of Taiwan would in itself have far-reaching consequences for the post-war American hub and spokes alliance system in Asia, where the US has as yet untested defense treaty commitments to Japan, South Korea, the Philippines and Australia. Amid the rapid growth of PLA capabilities and the CCP's expansionist tendencies under Chinese leader Xi Jinping in the last decade, the US has had to publicly guarantee the defense of Manila's forces in the South China Sea and reassure Tokyo it would intervene during an attack on the Japan-controlled Senkaku Islands. Newsham said there would be immense political fallout if the PRC seized Taiwan under America's watch. Most of Asia will turn red almost overnight. Every country but Japan and Australia will immediately cozy up to China and try to cut the best deal they can, in hopes of being sort of left alone. The Japanese and Australians will be rattled and terrified about what comes next for them, he added. American credibility will be destroyed in the Asia-Pacific and globally as well. These same sentiments were expressed during the March confirmation hearing of Admiral John Aquilino, who now leads U.S. Indo-Pacific Command. He told the Senate Armed Services Committee that conflict in Taiwan would impact the status of the United States in the eyes of its allies and partners.